I'm Mara Hoffert and I'm a social studies and English teacher at West Bloomfield High School and I am the teacher and sponsor of the student mentor program in class. The student mentoring program got started because I had a really dedicated group of students who wanted to make a change and see a change in the school environment. So they came to me and said, we've heard of this challenge day, can we bring it to the high school? So we brought a nationally recognized program called Challenge Day, which is kind of an anti-bullying and kind of team building uh, program into the school. And it was very successful. And afterwards, in some of our debriefing meetings, the students said that they were, would very much like to have a program. So it wasn't an event, but it was a whole movement within the school to change the way that people treated each other and felt about being at West Bloomfield High School. So they asked about a mentoring program. And we decided that it would be a great idea, but it would be better to have it as more than a program, but a course where we took upperclassmen and paired them with 10 to 15 freshmen who they would kind of help academically and socially and just basically be an ear for throughout the school year. Hi, good morning. We're here with the freshman orientation class of 2013. Uh, Ms. Hofford and her team has been working on this uh, since last year and all summer. And we uh, are in the process of implementing this at Feet today. It's been wonderful because they're really responsive. This is going to give the freshman class an opportunity to connect to the school and connect with their peers in this building. And I think it's going to be something that's going to be worthwhile from now until the time they graduate. I was very impressed uh, about a month ago when I observed the, uh, the web experience in its fullest Form. I was uh, impressed with the fact that there are 500 freshmen in the gymnasium with upperclassmen working with them and you could almost hear a pin drop. The order, the organization, that was truly impressive. 36 upperclassmen mentors and each day they come in and they have a different task. On one of the days they have speakers that come in and we have speakers from the community. We've had Dr. Andre as the superintendent, uh, Dr. Hearn the assistant superintendent. And we've also had community members like Brian Flags and Martin Manna. Another aspect of the class is the actual tutoring. So there's one day a week that they pull students from class and get to have a one-on-one -on -one discussion or academic support kind of meeting with them and really bond and make that relationship so that it's meaningful. And the last day they really spend working on how their students are doing, kind of talking to me, reflecting, and seeing what kinds of things they can do in the school, outside of the school day, to really make a difference with these kids. Okay, so we're tutoring, so basically can you tell us more about how we decided that the mentors were, the mentors were tutors? Um, well, they're tutoring by asking them questions and getting their notes out, not by telling them the answer. And so then they can really look at their resources and so they can understand the concept better and for future references of like how to study. So help me with that. Yes. You saw this program really express me feel like they belong to West Bloomfield High School? Absolutely. Uh, the freshmen meet their mentor and, and they've, they've, they've got an upperclassman friend. And besides their mentor, they also have 35 others uh, in the mentor class. So off the bat, they've got, they've got 36 people that they can go to uh, if they need a friend or if they need help. If they need help. Yep. I actually do see a lot of effects in my freshman students. Um, I've seen students who sometimes have seemed to kind of tune out showing up for these after school sessions for extra help. Uh, they seem excited about learning. Uh, I've seen my freshmen in my classes, uh, they seem to have gained confidence after uh, doing events with the mentors and I've also seen uh, increases in academic performance. They've helped my students with papers, they've helped my students stay on task, but they've also helped some of my students in the classroom managing their behavior much better. Next semester, then I'm definitely still going to be there for my mentors. It's just not going to be as formal a relationship as it is, as it is now. Um, of course, we won't have the pullouts anymore, but I'm still going to check in on them to see if they, you know, need any help with any academics or how they're doing socially. I think the program will improve simply by virtue of having gone through it. 
Uh, in other words, the pilot year, there's always bumps and bruises along the way. There were, you know, how many times to pull a student out, how many kids each mentor should have. It's basically just going to be depend a little bit on the mentors themselves um, and what they want for the kids in that year. As our culture in the building changes, meaning that kids feel like they want to be here for pep assemblies, kids feel like they, they aren't a number, they are a person. As that starts to change, so will the goals evolve. And when the goals evolve, the mentors will respond to that. And I have yet to go to a freshman teacher and say, how's your class this year, without them saying, this is the best freshman class ever. I'm hearing lots of positive things. And so when that happens, and I have a, an upper level group who's interacting with this, taking on the level of responsibility, it does have a, a, an effect on the tone of a building. Uh, visitors and people are continuing to come and as they mo are moving into our district wanting to uh, tour the school. And, and I will say to them, tour the school during the noon hour because that's when there should be chaos in any school is during the noon hour. And then come back and tell me if you're still interested in the West Bloomfield High School and they are impressed with what they see when they come here. Now that doesn't just happen, it's occurring because of the deliberate kinds of programming and activities that are structured for students to create a culture that we can all say we're very proud of. And so I thank all of those who've taken a personal interest from your principal to the administrative team to the teachers who've put this together but to the other staff out there who connected to this in a very special way to say, this is our building and we're going to make it the building that we want it to be for all of our children. I really enjoyed heading this program. It's been a great deal of work, but it's probably one of the most beneficial things I've done in my career as a teacher. My mentors are fantastic. <laughs> I'm not going to